Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 218 of quitting alcohol. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about motivation and change. Um, you know, when I first started this journey on quitting alcohol, um, I had some motivation, and where did my motivation come from? Where is your motivation going to come from to get you to, whether it's quit alcohol, whether it's to start exercising, to start eating healthy, lose weight, um, you know, to start a business? You know, motivation is one of those things that we need to make positive changes in our life, right? Um, so where did mine come from? Where does motivation come from? And um, one of the things that creates motivation a lot of the times, and I, this might be kind of an unfortunate thing, but it is fear. Uh, I had fear that was motivating me to quit drinking, fear that my health was going to keep getting worse and worse, fear that I was going to leave my wife and kids without a husband and father. Um, I had a lot of things going through my mind because I knew that um, I was in a, a state that was declining health-wise, my mental capacity was declining, um, my spiritual um, you know, plot in life was kind of declining, just so many things were heading downhill. And so I didn't want to keep on keeping on that way. So um, that was part of my uh, motivation to quit drinking. Now what I experienced though is as my um, motivation started out and then I started to make positive changes in my life and see the results from that, the motivation grew even more. Um, so you might not have a ton of motivation in the start, maybe it's just a little bit, but when you grab onto that and you get going, um, you start building momentum slowly but surely and those positive changes start to happen, then the motivation gets even greater because you're seeing so many positive benefits in your life starting to happen and changes starting to happen. And um, so when you get that little glimpse of motivation, you know, and whether it's fear that um, starts it or something else, you know, get moving, get going and uh, start putting one foot in front of the other. And as that momentum builds and the changes start happening, that just keeps growing and growing and growing. And there's other ways to get motivation too. Um, like I mentioned, fear was one for me, but also seeing other people around me making positive changes in their life, like quitting drinking or starting to exercise, uh, eating healthy, um, just trying to be the best versions of themselves possible. We all know people probably in our own lives, whether they're coworkers, friends, uh, people on YouTube, people online, um, you know, maybe you guys can, can use this channel as some inspiration and um, positive motivation. Uh, I, hope, I hope you can because that's one of the reasons I created this channel was to create something that I personally was looking for when I tried so many times to quit drinking in the past with just somebody I could follow day by day that was making positive changes. Um, and uh, so I'm hoping that uh, when this is all said and done, 365 days in, that it's uh, something people can use in the future for that. Um, but, uh, you know, I would see people online or people I knew that were, um, you know, giving up their vices. And addiction's addiction. I mean, it, it can be alcohol, it can be drugs, it can be pornography, it can be food, it can be sex, it can be so many different things. There's workaholics. Um, all kinds of different um, addictions that we can develop as human beings um, trying to get through life and, and doing all these different things to, uh, that are unhealthy to try to take the edge off or try to find some kind of uh, relief from the day-to-day -day rather than um, you know, working on ourselves and our situations and dealing with things correctly and properly. And so, um, you know... <sighs> Motivation can, can come from so many different places um, other than, um, you know, digging deep sometimes and trying to find it within yourself. You start seeing other people, you start having some things in your life like fear um, start to happen. And the next thing you know, you have a little bit of motivation, grab onto that, move forward with it. And then as the positive changes start to happen, my motivation now is far greater than it was on day one because I have so many uh, positive changes in my life now. And um, 
So um, where can you, you know, what motivates me might motivate uh, some people, but not others. Everybody is motivated by different things in life. And so, like I mentioned, fear, looking at others. Another way um, people get motivated is through money. Uh, money does make the world go round. Uh, money's not the end all be all by any means. Um, there's so many things in life that are more precious and important than money. But uh, it can be a big motivator. Money motivates me at times to uh, make good decisions and do certain things. So there's nothing wrong with um, understanding that money can be a motivating factor. And maybe uh, for your drinking, you're seeing um, you're spending a lot of money on it. Um, you know that if you start having health problems, health care is not cheap and that's going to cost you some money. Um, so um, looking at it from a financial standpoint, there's a lot of motivating factors to uh, quitting alcohol, drunk ordering online, all of a sudden uh, a week after a drunk Amazon order goes by, you get all these packages at your door and you go, oh, shoot, I remember ordering that when I was drunk, you know, and um, you know, we make bad decisions for our jobs, our, our careers, our businesses, um, when we're hungover, when we're drunk. And so um, that could be a motivating factor as well. Um, Another way to get motivated is to kind of look at your relationships with your family. Um, that was another one of my huge motivating factors. I mentioned fear, but another one for me was I wanted to have a better relationship with my wife and kids, especially. Um, they mean the most to me in this world. And it, it, I got to a point where, especially with my kids, I saw a little distance starting to happen because... Um, you know, I, it was because of my drinking. I think I got annoying in the evening times and obviously I was spending time drinking rather than being fully present with my family. And that bothered me. I didn't want to be that dad, that husband, that guy. And um, so I said, you know, this has got to stop. So that was another motivating factor for me. So um, sometimes, um, you know, Again, I've talked about getting to rock bottom in some of these videos. For a lot of people, unfortunately, drinking is that important to them that they have to get to a place where um, they're kind of on their last straw and um, things are at rock bottom. Something horrible happens or um, everybody's rock bottom is probably different from somebody else's. But, um, you know, hopefully you guys can find motivation like I did before you get to rock bottom, you know, some people get to rock bottom by having a drunk driving accident. Maybe it's a drunk driving ticket. Um, maybe they lose their job because of their drinking or um, unfortunately some relationships, maybe your um, significant other um, divorces you or um, leaves because they've had enough of your drinking, you know, and so um, there can be a lot of things that motivate us at rock bottom too. And uh, I just ask you guys to search because nobody really wants to get there, right? Nobody wants to get to rock bottom and have to have something just uh, gut-wrenching happen to us before we make positive changes. So if you have anything that I've mentioned here, whether it's a little bit of fear, a little bit of family, a little bit of financial, and it could be all of the above. You know, all these things I just mentioned, honestly, were um, motivating factors to me. And even the thought of rock bottom and knowing that I was heading closer and closer to that was a motivating factor. And so um, grab that little bit of motivation, put in some work, give it some time, water that seed, so to speak. And uh, before you know it, and the positive changes will start to happen and that motivation will grow. And then those positive changes will grow. And then, then it's like an out of control river just raging going forward um, with no looking back. And um, so I hope you guys can all um, start to find that motivation, uh, whether it's in this channel or other channels or um, things in your own life that are motivating you. Um, and if you can't, if you're sitting there right now going, you know what, Nate, none of these things are motivating me to quit drinking. Um, you know, you're watching this channel, right? You've got something inside you that wants you to quit drinking or you wouldn't be probably watching this, uh, would be my guess. And so there is some motivation there, whether you know it or not. And uh, just got to water that seed 
And um, if I could give you one piece of advice, even if you're, if you're finding just a little bit of motivation, is that it will get better. It's not going to be hard forever. It's not going to be as daunting as it seems once you get past the initial hurdle of making that decision. Um, and, you know, I, I guess... I just never knew that I could be where I am today. And you probably feel the same way. I never thought that I could make the positive changes in my life in a quick seven months. Um, because seven months, really looking back now, has gone by so incredibly fast. I mean, just think about how fast your last seven months have gone by. Think about what seven months was ago. That was July 27th, roughly, or somewhere in that ballpark. Um, how fast has it gone by since July of last year? I mean, July's coming up again quickly and it'll be here before you know it and that'll be a year. And in that short of time, I've completely changed my life around. I've already gone through the major discomfort. I didn't replace that one addiction of alcohol with something else. And that's the worst thing you can do is to trade one addiction for another. You're supposed to change yourself so that you don't want the alcohol. What I would do in the past is it would be short-lived quitting because I would um, you know, replace that void with food or whatever else it was. And then um, you know, eventually uh, I would go back to alcohol because I never changed the problem. This time when I got into the first week of quitting, I could tell right away, you know, I, I was craving sweets and these different things. And I knew that if I went to some other substance or whatever it was, something even as simple as food, that I wouldn't be fixing the real root of the problem. I'd be just feeling that empty feeling, that void inside from quitting the alcohol was something else that wasn't good for me. And it would never change the real problem. And so, um, guys, discomfort is okay to feel. Uh, you're not meant to live a life of just pure numbness and uh, greatness all the time. Uh, the best things in life that I have, my money, my success, my wealth, my health now, my uh, family, um, everything has come through blood, sweat, and tears, you know, and uh, building those things. Um, and those are the best things I have in my life as my family first and, and um, you know, my health now and, and uh, you know, having some finances and stuff like that. I would have never had any of those things had I not put in the effort and sometimes discomfort that uh, comes along with building these things up. And I wouldn't trade any of those things, you know, for anything in the world. It's like, you know, those things are where the growth happens and what you want in life. And so, um, you know, I just really hope for you guys that, um, you know, you can find a little bit of motivation and um, just get, get, just start out, put one foot in front of the other and keep moving forward. Never quit trying to quit. And, um, you know, you guys will get there like, like I have. Um, so with that said, guys, uh, if you are enjoying these videos, please give them a like, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.